Hello my Wolfpack and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Capacity of Kai video. So today we're covering Swampert. Now Swampert has an absolutely fantastic attack stat at base 110, really good HP, HP at base 100, base 90 in the defences, and also base 85 in its special attack, which actually is not terrible. It can be taken advantage of and we're going to show uh, exactly how that is in one of the sets later on in today's video. Now... The only thing letting Swampert down is its base 60 speed because unfortunately its base 60 speed means that it can't really be used uh, in a trick room because it's not really slow enough and it also can't be used in um, a speed version of itself typically because uh, it just makes things very difficult. And also another thing letting Swampert down is its abilities. It has Torrent which can work really nicely at a third of its max HP um, with 1.5 times water attacks but Damp is a terrible um, pretty terrible uh, ability. It is very situational and uh, situational for particular moves that aren't necessarily as common. Self-destruct and explosion seem to have decreased in how common they are. Aftermath, again, an ability that is very underused. Misty Explosion, not really used. And then Mind Blown uh, is from Blacephalon, so that's one Pokemon that you'd have to think of there. So that doesn't really work very well. Four sets today though, but because Swampert can actually work really, really well. Um, I've got these four sets. Unfortunately, not any Mega sets because um, the Megas aren't available in the game. If people want me to do Megas, they can let me know in the comment section below. Whilst you're down there as well, if you please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, it really helps me out and I'd really appreciate hitting uh, 1,000 subscribers. Hitting 1,000 subscribers before my birthday would be absolutely phenomenal and that is the 22nd of November. Okay, jumping back into the video, so today we have got four sets, as I said, the first set being a Power Up Punch Assault Vest set. Honestly, I love this combination. Uh, it's one of my staples. Assault Vest, increasing up your special defense by 1.5 times, which already at base 90 on your special defense, it does allow for you to be able to live a few more hits on the special side. Um, Power Up Punch, allowing for you to raise up your attack stat by one stage each time you use it. We've then got Liquidation, powerful water type attack boosted by Stab, has a chance to lower the defense of the opposing Pokemon. Earthquake, powerful ground type attack boosted by Stab again. And finally, Ice Punch to hit those grass types because honestly, uh, grass types are basically your only fear here. I think the only typing you are weak to is grass types, which is absolutely crazy. Uh, means that you can uh, get away with a lot more, especially considering grass types aren't the most common thing in the world. EV's gone for max HP and max attack with an adamant nature, some more attack, less special attack, and four EVs and special defense. You could also flip it on its side and go for max HP, max special defense if you wanted to, with a careful nature, so more special defense, less special attack, but that's up to you what you decide to go for there. Moving on to the second Swampert, we have got a support set. Now on here we have got Toxic, which is a transfer only move, so you would have to transfer from a previous generation if you don't want to do that, you could just put on uh, another attack on here. For example, Ice Punch again is a really reliable uh, move to use, especially in case of those grass type Pokemon. Now on this one, I put leftovers. You don't have to go leftovers, but I think that it works best in this scenario. You could go for a variety of different things. Honestly, any sort of berries could work as well. But we have got Stealth Rocks. Now Stealth Rocks allows for you to start um, causing problems for your opposing team because it basically nullifies any sashes because uh, they get broken as soon as the Pokemon switches in. Any fire flying, bug, or uh, ice types that come in are not going to be having a good time, so they will take 25% damage, um, and it can just cause a lot of problems for the opposing team. It limits the amount they're going to switch as well. Toxic can be really nice to use to allow you to start racking up damage on different Pokemon. Uh, again, it can work in combination with that Stealth Rock, forcing them to switch, um, and also can stop Pokemon from setting up. I found that Toxic, uh, with that racking up damage, people either they don't set up as much as they plan to, or they do set up and then they faint before they can take out your teams. Toxic can work really well in that respect. Uh, obviously, if you're going for Ice Punch, then you've just got a really good coverage move. Eevee, I'm sorry, sorry, not Eevees, uh, Earthquake is a powerful ground type attack, boosted by Stab, and then Flip Turn, just in case you need to get out of there, um, typically because Swampert is going to be slower than most Pokemon, having that Flip Turn, meaning you can get out of there, um, obviously it's boosted by Stab as well, but it means you can get out of there after taking an attack, so you can get a new Pokemon in fresh without taking any damage, which you'd normally take from a Switch. Eevees, max HP and max special defense with a careful nature, so more special defense, less special attack, and four EVs in attack. Or you can go for max HP, max special attack, sorry, not max special attack, max HP, max defense with a uh, impish nature, so more defense, less special attack. 
Moving on to the third Swampert, now this is where we will use special Swampert, and this is also a Dynamax set, so you can use this in a couple of different ways. Now, Choice Specs are on here, if you didn't know, when you're Dynamax, your Choice Specs are not activated, so you're not locked into a move, and you are um, not getting that plus 1.5, or times 1.5, sorry. So, having the Choice Specs on doesn't mean you're going to be affected when you're Dynamaxing, and when you're Dynamaxing, you can use any of these four moves to your effect. So we've got Sludge Wave, which will turn to Max Ooze, increasing up your special attack stat. Obviously, that alongside the choice specs will make you very scary. Blizzard to set up the heal, just in case you need to start doing some chip damage. And also, it gives you the opportunity to have Blizzard hitting 100% of the time. You've got Surf, which can set up the rain using Max Geyser if you needed that, if you're running, for example, a Swift Swim Pokemon in the back. And then you've got Earth, Earth Power, sorry, which will turn to Max uh, Quake, increasing up your special defense stat there as well. So you can use any combination of those attacks to allow you to really start putting a dent into your opposing team. EVs, gone for max HP and max special attack with a modest nature, so more special attack, less attack, and four EVs in special defense. And then finally, we have got another Dynamax set for Swampert. On here, I've gone for the Choice Band in this scenario. You could also go for things like Red Cards. You could go for uh, any sort of Berries, Leftovers, Life Orb. Lots of different options here. You've got Torrent, again, as your ability. And then move-wise, we've got Brick Break, which when you Dynamax turns to Max Knuckle, increasing up your attack stats. Iron Tail, which turns to Max Steel Spike, increasing up your defense. Earthquake is Max Quake, increasing up your special defense, and then Waterfall, which will allow you to be able to set up the rain uh, in case you need that for certain Pokemon that may be in the back. EVs for that one, Max HP, Max Attack, with an Adamant Nature, some more attack, less special attack, and four EVs in special defense. I think those last two sets are pretty self-explanatory. It's just a case of setting up your stats, setting up a weather if you need it, and then just going to town. Obviously, you're locked into a move when you're back uh, to your normal self, so do be cautious when picking that. So if there is a flying-type Pokemon, obviously don't go for the ground-type move. Anyways, that is all for today, so I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Anyways, I'm out of here, so have a good one, and I'll see you soon.